Hi, I'm Tiffany, or Skate and Sew, and in this video, I'm going to talk about skates that are in the $150 price range. Uh, this is my next video in my series all about like beginner skater questions being answered. Um, I've already done an intro. I've already done one on sizing. I've done one on $100 skates, and um, I'm going to have more wheels, toe stops, different price points. Just check my Instagram uh, at Skate and Sew and go to the little IGTV tab in my feed and you'll see all the videos. They're saved as a series. But like I said, in this video, we're going to talk about skates and about the $100.50 price point. Um, so if that's your range, stay tuned. Now, I don't have any skates that fall within this price range. So I'm just going to sort of talk through the ones that I know about. Um, admittedly, this is probably the category where I have the least experience but I can at least give you some factual information because I'm really not trying to make these reviews more so just information so that you can compare and decide for yourself what you want. So um, we're going to start off with what's most probably popular known is uh, Moxie Beach Bunnies because they come in right in at 149 most people are familiar with moxies if you've been looking for skates and the beach bunnies are the cheaper alternative to like the lollies so i'm gonna try to go down with the facts so they have aluminum plates they do have an adjustable toe stop they do come with outdoor moxie uh bunny wheels uh, and they are in men's sizes i did a whole video on sizing check it out but in beach bunnies i would probably go down one size if you're a woman from your u.s woman size um, the pluses about them are obviously Moxie is well known, um, and they come in a lot of fun colors. You can also do the jungles, which are just beach bunnies in a cheetah print. Um, the thing that I will say is they are not U.S. made, like the lollies or the jack boots that are made here in the U.S., so you're not getting quite that quality of skate. I think sometimes people get impressed by the Moxie brand, but I sort of put the lollies and the jacks in a different category than the beach bunnies and the rainbow riders. Not that they're bad, I just don't expect lolly-ish quality. Um, the only thing that I can say about those is they're pretty average width. Uh, they are stiffer because you are going to have the PVC vinyl boot. Um, they have a really grippy tongue, I've heard from people. So sometimes people have a problem with that with their sock. But they don't slide around, which some tongues do, so that's a plus. Um, but for the most part, everybody who I know who has bunnies um, love them. The only complaint that some of them may have is that they're pretty stiff if you're used to a softer boot. But you're probably a new skater and you don't really know the difference. But um, it's going to be stiffer than like a rental skate that you would get at like the skating rink. Um, next up, I have two brands of Kaya's. And I don't know why this is. This is just how Kaya does their thing. They make a series called Melrose. Like... Melrose, what was that show? Anyway, they um, make a show, they make a, look at me, they make a skate line called Melrose. So they come in a regular, they don't call it that, it's just called Melrose. And then there's a deluxe and then there's an elite. Um, there's not a whole lot of price difference between the regular Melrose and the Melrose deluxe, but there are some differences in the skate. So let's talk about them. All right, the Kaya Melrose, um, the basic, comes with the aluminum plate. They do have a bolt-on toe stop. You are getting outdoor wheels with that. I think it's their Sugar Rush wheels. I can't remember. Um, and they do come in women's sizes. They run about $115, $120, maybe more dollars, depending on where you get them from. Um, I think that they are a really good value for the price. Like, if you were looking at a $100 skate and you could add another $15 or $20 bucks to it, I think you'd probably be happier with the Kayas. Um, again, I don't have the Melrose version, so I can't say that for certain, but I, it seems like a really great value for the price point. Um, Kayas, at least the Elise that I have, um, are a little bit wider. They're very padded and they do have a vinyl outer boot, um, but I think it's a good quality boot. However, I'm not sure why you would buy them unless that's just all you could find because you could get the Melrose Deluxe for like $10 or $20 more. They usually run about $130 to $150. Um, and I would just pay the extra to get the Deluxes. Mm. Um, so all, not all of that applies. Let's talk about what's different. They have a nylon boot. Now you might think, how do I go from basic to Deluxe? 
and go from metal to nylon. Well, metal plates aren't always better. I know a lot of people are like, oh, if you're heavier, you need a metal plate. Metal plates are stronger. None of that is really true when you're talking about a generic aluminum plate, but I'll get to that when I start talking about plates. Um, but just know that this one has a nylon plate, a bolt-on toe stop again. You have um, outdoor wheels. I think they're similar wheels to what comes on the regular mail rows. Um, I think that they're a better value for your money than the Kaya mail rows basics because the deluxes do have, that nylon plate is a better plate. Um, I think the boot is essentially the same. Don't quote me on that 100%. Um, the other thing that I want to point out about both Kayas is the Kayas have, and I don't have a skate that has it, but I'm just going to use this Impala to demonstrate. Kayas have that little loop thing on the back, like a boot loop, so that when you're putting your foot in, you can like pull it up like a sneaker. And I just think that's a really cool feature to have. None of my skates have that, and I really, for some reason, wish that they did. Um, another skate that I don't know much about because I've only seen one person in them um, are BTFLs. They're a European country, I think, and I think they're spreading out into the American market because, you know, everyone's buying skates. They come in right at $139. They come with nylon plates. They have an adjustable toe stop, which is a plus in my opinion, um, and they do come with what looks like some really good outdoor wheels, larger wheels. They're 62 millimeters. Some of the other ones only come with 58. Um, they do have a real suede outer, which if you're vegan is out for you, but if you like a suede boot, they actually have a suede boot. It comes in two colors. I think like a misty blue and like a grayish beige, but um, it also says they have a faux fur lining. Now, again, I only know one person who has them and I haven't looked inside of her skate, obviously. Um, but they, they're cute. They give you more of that like moxie look, lolly look, but at a much lower price point because they do have the suede outers. They don't come in all the pretty colors, but you can always dye skates. So I'm going to have a whole video about my moon boots that I dyed, so I'll talk about that later. But they seem like a really good value for the money. They look like they'd be comfortable. They have the roll collar thing on the ankle that I like so much. I talked about before. I don't think I have one of my skates here, but I like how it has the little cushion around the ankle. It looks like a really good skate for just $139. I have not skated in them, but those look good. All right. Lastly, I'm just going to talk about Rydell Citizens, which is another skate I don't think I've ever seen anybody in. But honestly, all the leather Rydells pretty much look the same, so I don't know. Um, they only come in the white and the black. They have the nylon plate. Um, they have the bolt-on toe stop. They come with outdoor wheels, I think. A lot of stuff that Rydell sells to shops. They sell in different packages, um, but it should come with outdoor wheels. Um, and they are men's size. I think I forgot to mention on the BTFLs, they come in Euro sizes. So go buy your Euro size if you know what that is, or buy your closest women's size. They say on their site they run a little bit small. So if you're a half size, I would definitely go up. Okay, um, the Rydell Citizens, again, nylon plate, bolt on toe stop. Um, outdoor wheels should come with men's sizes. They run right at about the 135 price, but again, it depends on how your skate shop builds theirs or if you buy directly from Rydell or whatever. They're a vinyl boot. Like I said, it comes in the white and the black. I really don't know anything about the citizens. I just am mentioning them, mentioning them in this video because Rydell is a quality product. They make great boots. They describe it as a beginner rink recreational skate. So I don't really think you could go wrong with it. I don't know how padded or how not padded they are. They definitely don't have the ankle collar thing, but it is cut so that it dips down. So I can't speak to comfort on them, but possibly they'd be great. I mean, it's a Rydell skate. So I would think if you're in the 150 price point, it would be worth like at least Googling it, checking YouTube, see if you can find some more information on them. But if I'm honest and I'm picking, which I feel like is what y'all want me to do, and I had to pick a skate in the 150 range, I would probably pick the Kaya Melrose Deluxes. Are these BTFLs? I mean, I don't have a lot to base that on, but these BTFLs look promising. If I didn't already have suede skates and I didn't for a while, I would probably order them and just see how it went. Definitely would consider a Moxie Beach Bunny as well. Not me personally, because I have wide feet and they're not going to be comfortable, but if you don't, then that could be a really good choice uh, for you as well. Um, but that covers all the skates in the 150-ish price point.
Hopefully one of those will work for you if that's the price that you want to pay. I had one more skate I thought about including in here and it's another Kaya skate. Comes in right at $179. But it's closer to the $200 price point than the $150 price point. So I'm going to talk about that in the next video. If you're interested, definitely check that one out. Um, and you can hear why that one's a little bit better. If you like my sweatshirt, grab one at my Etsy store, Tip Stitched. Um, I think I also have them in a t-shirt and I have some, I have the same design on a fanny pack. I got a lot of stuff for you over there. So if you want to check out some merch and help me out for making these videos for you guys, check out my Etsy store. Thanks. Bye.